Hello and welcome to another modeling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with an update on the salt mine injection molding garage kit project. Just getting straight into it. We've done two tests already uh, for video showcase epoxy resin in the aluminium casing as well as milliput. Both were a reasonable fail though, giving me enough information about the width of the sprue material vents, all that sort of stuff. A lot more experimentation to go in the way of what shapes I can cast, thicknesses, detail, as well as the layout design of the mould. Nothing too serious there. There will be repeated tests in such shorter videos explaining the differences and improved results if I am able to replicate parts. The next picture is concept through CAD of our mould and a sub mold to cut costs the outer mold is the standard 77 by 77 mil i can do a lot longer one but only doing a test cast for now of the rivets a sprue and a plate the final parts will not be anything like this though just to have a feel for the pulling a material the vents how it comes out until I commit to a more permanent and expensive material. The green in a material will be the tougher, more expensive, fine refined prototyped product that will take the casting and add a material will just be 3D printed ABS uh, shell that can be viced in for the injection mold to hold it in place. The idea of having the green as small as possible is to allow the mold to cool, vent, but as well as not to deteriorate under pressure. I've also come across the Spark Maker SLA 3D printer, which retails here for about $400. Very, very cheap end product. This is going to really speed up and lower the cost of prototyping, seeing the final product in my hands after cutting and making a quick throwaway insert mold to do a couple of shots, test how far SLA can go and have a play with other aspects of modeling. So I've got this on order. Doing a bit of research and budgeting. Unfortunately, the actual official resin is not available or cost effective to get into the country. However, the AnyCube resin, which a video I'm going to talk about in a second, does work quite well and is very, very cheap to import from China, which shouldn't give me any problems via customs being a liquid and all of that jazz. Between the purchase of that and this on eBay is $500 not too shabby. I'll add this uh, very quick review tutorial video down below. It is by Best Gear but gives you a rundown of how simple and easy it is to assemble and get printing. There has been reviews of uh, issues and uh, products that don't work with uh, money back uh, guarantee via PayPal and uh, the warranty process from the manufacturer and the store I'm buying it from shouldn't be that much of an issue at all and be a bit of a delay all of these will be coming in uh, late October early November so results will start uh, occurring then now for the outer mold I'll be using ABS PC and reviving the old up mini which has issues of uh, deformed and prints just peeling off the bed tried a few things like bill tack and tape and whatnot though for something as high production as uh, the ship you need to use crispy new ABS I just want to use any old including uh, the manky stuff having a look there is a build platform you were able to build unfortunately it's uh, obsolete and not available so I found these really cool basic heated mats which I'm pairing up with a transformer and a plug we'll assemble it get the bed to 100 degrees and if it does a print I've uh, fixed the up mini, a little tutorial will be made, as well as making the outer covers of the mold. Now for the final product, the inner green bit is going to be SLM 3D printed stainless steel at a very very high resolution, nicer than SLA. 
Zeal 3D Printing in Australia has given me a quote for the insert which is very very affordable and including detail stats as well as heat and durable stats that will survive the injection molding process. This will be for final molds for uh, parts and kits that will have a longer production. The inner green bit has a lot of uh, wasted material as it's a quick uh, CAD job. If I make it far more thinner where there's at least uh, 5 to 10 mil all the way around the part to be used as a heat sink and enough for venting and the rest of it being ABS we should be able to have a super affordable around the $200 uh, two-part mold the whole process is uh, very fascinating having an absolute blast and a lot of fun playing with all of these uh, elements especially the metal 3d printing i've also noticed a lot of people been giving me uh, advice and suggestions from the, the resin casting which i'm very new at not very good all the way to uh, the advanced aspects of uh, 3d printing that's outside of my comfort level i do much appreciate your input feedback criticisms all that sort of stuff they are noted and will be applied to future experiments or uh, the product development so everything is being noted but there is a huge delay of when it's out on video to what i'm doing currently if you wish to support me check out the salt mines page down below i'm selling some of my work kits and whatnot that goes uh, straight into uh, this project uh, patreon link everything down below in the description section thank you very much see you later